Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to have slash commands permission. So um, this guy over here is basically teaching you guys how to actually set permissions. So um, this is actually not automatic. So you need to actually specify your own roles and then you need to specify permissions. So in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make this an automated process. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys a demo. So I'm just going to go to Discord. Okay, so in here, if I do slash and I can see all of the commands okay so all of the commands are enabled but if i go to my out account okay and i do slash again all right uh, you should see that some of the commands are actually disabled so i'll be showing you guys how to do this in today's video do keep in mind that this disable feature is only available for good commands but for application commands i'll show you guys in another way you can skip to the timestamp if you want to all right the first thing you want to do is you want to find for your handler index folder so you just want to find a handler and then want to click on index.js inside handler all right so once you're in here um we're gonna find for the all right we're gonna find for this you right above of this we're just gonna do if um the file dot user permissions shouldn't and then we're just gonna do file dot default permission equals false so if the command has a specific permission needed we're actually going to disable the command first okay so we're just going to add this line so let's just quickly um grab this i'm just quickly make a declaration for a guild so cost guild equals to this and we can just do a weight guild okay we're going to do it like this all right so once we already set the commands we just need to do then command uh Okay, so to actually set the permissions, we actually need to get all of the roles in the specific guild. So we can do that by doing const get roles. So let me just declare a function. We're going to take in command names. Okay, and then uh, we're just going to do const permissions equals to. So basically now we're going to get um, the permissions required for the specific command. So array of slash commands to find x x dot name command name okay it should be n a m e all right perfect and i'm just going to do dot user permissions so we can get all of the permissions so if the command doesn't have any permissions we're just going to return null all right so if it has permissions so make sure there's a exclamation mark in here so if there is permissions so return guild dot roles dot cache dot filter and then uh we're gonna do x x dot permissions dot has permission permissions i mean and then we also want to make sure that it's not managed by discord so we just gotta do and it's not x dot managed all right so basically x dot manage uh, i mean basically a managed role means that it's a role managed by Discord, for example, it's like the boss role, it's like the um, server booster role. All right, let's move on. So we're going to do the cons full permissions equals to command dot reduce. We're going to have a accumulator, also a value. So X, let me just define that at X. And then we're going to get the roles first. So cons roles equals to get roles. And we're going to pass in X dot name in here. So if there is no roles, we're just gonna return accumulator because we're gonna say uh we're just gonna ignore it. All right. So uh, once you're done with that, we're just gonna define all the permissions needed. So permissions again equals to roles dot reduce. All right. Don't forget to add a default value in here. Okay. Okay. So roles dot reduce, and then we're gonna have a and v. So a v, and then the default value is gonna be a an array so const permissions and then we're just going to return a square brackets spread operator a dollar dot a and then we just do id is going to be v dot id which is going to be the role id type will be of course it's going to be a role and then um, permissions i mean permission is going to be true so basically what this is is basically if you go to the browser itself you should see uh, this is actually the same thing Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over in here. Alright, 
so uh that's permissions so now we can actually return the entire thing so we can just return dot dot, dot accumulator comma um id will be x to id which is going to be the command id and then permissions okay yeah, as simple as that and then um i'm just going to scroll down so let me just go down okay so right above uh Right below full permissions, we're actually gonna set the permissions. So guild dot commands dot permissions dot set, and then we're just gonna pass in full permissions like that. Okay, make sure there is a curly braces wrapping it. All right, so for this, I'm actually created. I have already created a command, so it's called hi dot js. So basically, you need administrator permission. I mean, actually need a role which has the administrator permissions to in order to use this command. So you can see here, um, we're just going to restart the bot and I'll see you in Discord. All right, so let's just test this out. So let me just zoom in really quickly. And if I do slash hi, it should, as you can see here, is disabled because I don't have any roles. So let me just simply type a message. Okay, so if I click on myself, there should be no roles. Okay, to, in order to use the slash hi command, we need to have administrator roles. So if I add an administrator role to myself, which is the bot role, okay, this role has the administrator permissions. So add it to myself and I do slash hi. And see here, I should be able to use the command, which is pretty cool. Once again, if I remove this role in here, I try to use slash hi, okay, it's gonna disable the command. So yeah, that should be it for the guild commands. So now let's move on to the application commands. So for application commands or global commands, you just need to find for the interaction create.js. In here, you just want to find for here, uh, this interaction.member, blah, blah, blah. And then you want to go under in here. You're just going to check permissions like any, like my previous video. So all we need to do is if interaction.member.permissions.has, and then we're just going to pass in command.user permissions or an empty array all right and then we're just going to return um interaction dot follow up content um let me see the content you do not have permissions to use this command so yeah that should be it for the global commands as well so let me just quickly go in here okay so we're just going to add this code in here and yeah, it should be good to go. Unfortunately, I couldn't test this because I don't have global commands set, but it should work for you guys if you guys have global commands set. So yeah, that should conclude today's video on slash command permissions. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. All right, that, see you again next video. Bye.